Thank you to Diedrich Bank, our sponsor for the 2022-23 basketball season. Live for today, bank for tomorrow, member FDIC. Please welcome the DePaul College Prep Rams and the Teutopolis Wooden Shoes.
we didn't look to really attack off of, uh, you know, they were doubling Caleb even before he had the ball sometimes. And, you know, we were just kind of being, we were tiptoeing around, kind of feeling ourselves around. And then we, you know, <laughs> we had some shots rattle in and out. And, you know, that just kind of affected everything. Um, it kind of snowballed on us. Part about the obstacles that they were double teaming you down the stretch and you had troubles getting good looks in general. Oh, it's just difficult. I mean, I mean, it's been all season long though, so it's not new, nothing new for me. It's just hard to get through, but battle. But it's also nice to know that they're giving me the respect and double teaming. Well, they, they've just got so much length, and uh, you know their length can also guard the ball. You know, uh, you gotta. You got a, game, a guy like McElroy who can switch out onto a point guard and keep in front of you. That's you know that's a pretty big weapon for your defense. Um, I think their length kind of bothered us. Uh, it could prevented us from getting some shots off on skips. Um, you know, and it just like I said, it just kind of snowballed from that. We we uh, we you know we didn't shoot those shots that we normally do. We didn't attack aggressively like we normally do. Um, but they're you know they had a lot to do with that. They got. They're they're a very solid defensive team with with a lot of length, a lot of size. It doesn't allow them to draw so much attention to Caleb. You know that just that just allowed them to keep doing what they were doing. Like I said, it, there were times when they had they had two guys on them before he even had the ball. So uh, if we you know you knock down a couple of those, and then, then their guys start thinking, well, I got to close out uh, and get to that shooter um, and leave Caleb. You know, so yeah, it, it, that really affected everything. For them. Uh, we just got to come out. I mean, play our best game. I, mean, I know we didn't want to end up in this game. We want to play Saturday, but we just got to come out fighting and just, you know, regroup and we'll hopefully get that third place. You know, I thought their effort was tremendous defensively. We had a couple, you know, breakdowns discipline wise. You know, let them get to their strong hand when we didn't want them to. Um, I thought their effort was tremendous on, on the defensive end. That's why we were still in the game. But, Offensively, we were just we were in kind of in slow motion. I felt like um, just kind of feeling our, ourselves around instead of you know playing aggressive and making them get on their heels. We got on our heels early, and it just we just never really regrouped from it. They, they obviously were not themselves today, um, but I, I really don't think it was the, the, the stage was too big for them. Uh, it just you know we had some early turnovers again. We didn't. We missed. We didn't count. We we didn't execute on some on some open shots again, and it just I think that kind of wore on them a little bit. Paul's a really good basketball yeah. team too. Like that that their length is is causes a lot of problems for teams. I yeah, know. we just. I, I mean, I thought they were good ones. You know, I, yeah. I was. I mean, they were open, <laughs> and I thought all of them were going in. They, yeah. You know, I think the only one that there was nothing forced. I thought they were in rhythm. You know, yeah. it, it was layups. It was everything. It was layups. It was free yeah. throws. It was three. I mean, it, nothing was was fine in the bottom of the net for us. I thought they, like I said, I thought they stepped. They kept fighting. Um, it just this game was not our game today. Your five seniors got one last game to, to still get a, a, a hosted plaque for third place. What would it mean to you, coaching these seniors for the last time on this court? Well, that's all I'm worried about is is, is getting the opportunity to coach those five one more time. You know, it's. Um, yes, we want to win the game. We want to we want to take home third, but we're gonna go. We're gonna coach as hard as we can. We're gonna play as hard as we can. We're gonna leave everything on that floor one last time this year, and uh, I can't wait to coach those five one one last time. We are the fourth team ever in our ninety nine year history to get to this stage, you know, to get to this point, to get to the last four teams in in the state of Illinois. Um, so four out of 99, you know, is a, is a, is a huge accomplishment. And uh, I take it to Vegas. Yeah. They're, <laughs> they, they've got a lot to be proud of. They're going to play as hard as they can. I know that tonight. Um, and we're going to, we're going to play our style of basketball. Talk about the support that you get from the community, from the parents, just mm -hmm. everybody in general. Uh, it's second to none. They, they, they filled this, they filled this arena as, as full as they could today. Um, and I know they'll be back tonight. It's we we are the luckiest people in, in the state, in my opinion, to, to have all that support and all these people come want to come watch us.